So in this video, we hop inside the dark ether inside of MWZ, and we basically use no guns, and we extract with some of the top of the line items, and I show you guys a little bit of a cool trick that you guys can do to get weapon cases for wonder weapons for free, almost every single game you guys do play. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel as well, let's get a word from our sponsor, and enjoy. Yeah, they basically go inside game and unlock the things you don't want to unlock, or it's too big of a grind for you, they go in and do it for you. So say you're going out of town and you still want to grind on your account, then they'll actually do it for you. I definitely recommend them, they are trusted and safe, link in description code spazo for five percent off all right we are in the dark ether no i don't have a gun i only have the vr 11 i'm gonna try and do every contract hopefully i can there's a turret right here i'm gonna use it to take down this mega real quick i do have a deadbolt let me go ahead and throw that in there i'm gonna buy jug because i need juggernaut yeah there you go turret keep shredding him oh he's gonna shoot me there we go we got him. Okay. Step one complete is a sentry gun, rare ether tool. We can just stow the sentry gun. Oh my god, dude. What's up with all these zombies spawning? Oh, we gotta move. I also want to see if I can find any keys and use them. Oh, we gotta move, man. I only have one self-revive. I have a few Casimirs. <laughs> I don't know how well three are gonna do. But the goal plan is to complete every contract. Ugh. Ugh. We don't even have stamina up, so we're not going to be able to run quicker. But the VR-11, I guess, will help whenever we shoot zombies. We can turn them. So, fully armored zombies, I believe you turn them into a scout trooper or something? So it's called something like that. Oh. So, yeah, it's you do get different, zomb or different characters or mercenaries for every kill. For the different zombies, but you can't you can't turn a hellhound. You cannot turn a special zombie, which sucks. You just damage him. Where's the door? I think I just ran past it. I most definitely did. Oh my god, I am stupid. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Alright, we can go grab this contract. I completely forgot to grab it. I just ran over here. As if that was gonna work. Okay, take down these armored guys, hit the zip line right here. Ah, there we go. Ascend. All right, contract is down here. I always forget where the heck it is. Let's go ahead and grab it. We can't jump over this. You just gotta wait for the animation. All right, to the escort vehicle. So yeah, the VR-11 will help us repair it. So that's kind of why I brought it in, because I'm not going to be using any guns. Now, the reason I didn't bring in any guns is because I didn't have any insureds ready, so I couldn't bring in, like, the Lockwood. How much I would have loved to bring it in? A lot. But, uh, we couldn't. So, unfortunate. The fire rate on this is so low. Huh. Help take down some of these guys. Ether Blade. See, we got an anti-tank with him. Oh my gosh. Don't go down. Ugh. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies here, man. I have PhD. I can call in this airstrike real quick. There we go. These guys will drop me ammo, I believe, even though I don't really have a gun. Come on, kill the mangler. <laughs> OP, man. Everything's OP. Yeah, see, you can't you can't turn hellhounds, which kind of sucks. I think you should at least be able to turn it to like a tier two friendly hellhound. All right, I'm gonna turn you. Help me out a little bit. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, what? Where's my ether blade? There it is. That would have been bad. Completely just dropped the ether blade. Uh, we're going to need these Casimirs. We do have some experimental gas as well. That might actually be helpful. We're going to pop this. Kill some zombies. It's a hellhound. Ooh. Collateral damage. A 
look like that just directly killed him. Turn him. We still have 100% health. So I'm not really worried. Let me throw this experimental gas. For how much it's going to help, I don't know. But I guess everything helps at some point. Oh my gosh. All the zombies are just going after the mercenaries. I guess that's not a bad thing, right? Jump! Huh. Clutch. Pop this. Re re regenerate the vehicular. We have eight bullets left. Oh, there's a nuke back there, man. That would have been a clutch nuke to grab. But we're kind of already far ahead. It's kind of a pointless nuke now. Shoot the vehicle. Oh my god, look how many are behind me. <laughs> okay, we got another Casimir. I'm going to try and just use the last one for the last part. Just use one this time. So I try and use them whenever uh, you actually stop and like you have to use it. I guess that's why the VR-11 is so good. You can just do these contracts without <laughs> a gun. Clutch Max. Ugh, I died here last time. So let's be careful. Turn as many zombies as we can. Ugh. Oh. Ether Shroud. Here we go. Help me out. Let's go. On to the last part. There should be a mega abomination here. There we go. Turn him. No mega. Okay. Maybe that's just because it's not tier 5. But sometimes it seems like one spawns in. How did that shot miss? There we go. I hear a mangler. There's a mega. Way back there. Let me turn you. Ugh. I suck. I am the worst to exist. Oh my god. Oh my god. Casimir. Turn some zombies. And no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> my game was almost about to crash. Thank God it didn't. Is that bonus points? Holy. We gotta go around. Oh my God. Don't go down, Spazo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We did it. Contract completed. Wow. That wasn't bad till the last part. The only bad thing is not having a self-revive to protect you. If you do die. Okay, now I have no ammo. That sucks. Oh, here's some. Okay. We can go back up there, grab our reward. Maybe it'll be something great, like a self-revive. It's crazy, I'm thinking those are the great items. <laughs> the great items of the Dark Ether. Hey, we did actually get one. Nice. <laughs> Alright, to do the next contract, we have to go... Where am I? We gotta go over here. We gotta grab the extractors. Okay. We have two bullets. We can refill while we're here, or restock. We have some decoys as well still, so I'm not really worried. Okay. There we go. 
All right, let's grab this contract up here. I am just okay. It's it's a late night for me. All right, we're, we're it's <laughs> my sleep schedule has been a little bit out of whack. All right, teddy bear, the extractors. See how good you are. How good the reward I shall receive. We do have a sentry gun if, if we need that. I'm glad we have a self revive though. Now it makes like the life so much easier. So much easier. Give me my VR11. Let me hit this real quick. There's not any zombies here, which is weird. Usually there's like, they're constantly respawning. Even in tier four, just cause this ain't tier five don't mean nothing. Tier four is still difficult. I, I kind of like to think of them as the same. They kind of feel the same. Literally just have like two more mega abominations and they feel the exact same. All right, maybe this one up here is going to be a little bit different. Seems like there's a lot of crap going on up here. Come on, help me out. Help me out, sniper. You are probably the most useless I could have got. What zombie turned you? I want to know. Please. Please. Get me out of this animation. Dude, I actually survived? No way, I don't. Uh, hold that. What is that? Oh, it's insta-kill. Cool. Ugh. Where's my ether blade, man? Ugh. <laughs> All right. Dude, I got another sniper. Wow. They're OP when they're in the camps, but they are just useless when they're here. Another ether blade case. I'll take it. Uh, Outlast contract time. So this, this is going to be the final contract. This actually ain't too bad. When you have an ether blade, it kind of makes life like a thousand times easier. No matter what you're doing. So I guess farming stuff like this... This is the go the go to way if you have a VR11, which you can get a lot of VR11s from in here. You can find them through the lock spaces and like weapon cases, or just farming the red worm kill. Uh, you can get it from tier three boss fights. Okay, final contract time. I do have a sub revive, so we should be good. And I totally missed that ether blade. So apparently this is you holding this weapon you run the fastest and I'm not gonna lie it seems like you do seems like you have some quick sprint speed even without stamina up so this, this could be one of the best wonder weapons just because of the sprint speed and if you're farming accusations bro this thing is crazy the escort contract is easy now. even dude even before People found out the VR-11 could heal the escort. Dude, the tier 4 escort was hard as crap, too. It wasn't easy. That was hard. I might go down here. Let me pop this. Because we are taking some damage and I don't have plates. We're at 70%. Ugh. I'm trying not to use the VR-11. I guess it would help a little bit. Just making some grunt soldiers. We missed that shot so bad. Ugh. Ugh. How did I just survive? Ugh. There we go. Contract completed. All right, there we go. All the contracts are done. Hold up. Wait a minute. These zombies have killed me so many times I cannot express it, so we are taking them down before I even attempt to open up this reward rift. Come on, Ether Blade. Thank you. Huh. I hope they stop spawning. Oh my gosh, no way the Disciple got me. That rarely ever happens to me. A Disciple kills me? Barely ever. Okay, that's all we need from there. Alright, let's look for a key. I believe there's a key up top. Maybe? I think? I don't know. But one thing you can do is you can just 
<laughs> there's certain things you like you can look inside the locked rooms where am I kind of lost so we're here okay okay I kind of know now let me pack this again get some extra damage shooting these special zombies because apparently they're not gonna disappear huh Reload. Ugh. There we go. Finally. All right, we can go look up here. I believe there is a locked room here. But yeah, you can check. Because some of them you can look in. That looks like a wonder weapon case. The antiques office key. Okay. So I think we got to go up to rooftop. Now, you guys are probably going to be like, Spizzle, they're right there. Like, while you're watching this video. But I don't know. I don't really know where they're all at, so <laughs> I'm sorry if you get irritated while watching. That's just part of it. And then there's a locked room down here. Where is that locked room? I, I remember the locked room here from DMZ. I know there's some in here. You can open that one and that one. But those only have power-ups. All right, we got to get up to the rooftop. That's what we got to do. So we need a zip line. Or we can just use stairs. Okay. We can just hop up over here. That shall do it, my friend. But yeah, this is a way you can get wonder weapons, I guess. Uh, we can go up top. And then we can go up here. I believe there's a key... up there and we gotta wait for like this to come down I think <clears throat> Here's a key, ABF Antiques Office Key. Uh, I don't know if this one... Okay. I think we can look around for this location. I kind of remember it partly from DMZ, but it's just been a while. And to be fair, I never really came here in DMZ. So I, I kind of do forget. Uh... That's not locked. It's over here, this one. What is it called, though? Oh. Oh. Wonder why I have DG2 case. Yeah, so if you have death perception, you can just check these things. Every single time you come in here and you can get the wonder weapon cases. There's multiple locked locations, but the question is... Let me drop down here. Whoa, wait. It let me open that? Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't figure it was going to let me open it, but... Uh, yeah, so you guys can get wonder weapons all the time in here. It's a good way to farm it. I swear there was a locked location. Yeah, it's right here. What is that? Albagra Barrack? There's a wonder weapon in there. How do we get that key? Ah, oh, there we go. Office, officer's quarters key? It's not the Barrack key. Okay. So, that's how you get that one. No! I bet you there's one up there. That probably makes sense. It's probably where one is. We should go check that out. Yeah, I only knew where the other one was, which was in the basement. I there they might be different every game, so don't you know, obviously look in the locations because I'm sure it's different keys that spawn, but Okay. Gotta wait for this to go up. Gotta do some parkour, man. Some hardcore parkour. We gotta be careful though. Huh. There we go. 
Do I need this thing to go up now? Just gotta wait. Huh. There we go. Alright. What's up with this? Does it drop down? Looks like it. Okay. Huh. 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 <laughs> Munitions storeroom key. Okay. So still no Barrett key. Which I don't know where that would be. The barracks key. Here's the barracks key. Okay. So now we can go and we can open up this spot and check out the wonder weapon case that's inside. Hopefully it's a VR 11. Yeah, but every game you guys can do this and you guys can basically get yourself wonder weapons. Another wonder wop. I'll take it. Oh. I will 100% take it. Okay, we can go to extraction now. So, through this game, we got two ether blade cases, a dog bone, an elder sigil, and two wonder wop DG2 cases. This is probably the best farm to gear up in the dark ether. Now, you just rinse and repeat this. Like, say we have this right. Next game, we spawn it with this. Okay? And then we can spawn it with this. And then we just rinse and repeat. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did find it helpful or enjoy it. And uh, subscribe to the channel. We're going for 40K by the end of the year. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.